Stephen Hawking made science available to the masses. And today the masses turned out to say goodbye. A bell tolled for each of his 76 years. And resting on top of his coffin are white lilies. His three children say they represent the universe and white roses the polar star. His close family followed the coffin into church as applause broke out. Many here had never even met the scientist. I know one of my friends was physics here and he was really inspired by him. Well, he's such a great man. You know, as I said, it, it felt compelled really to kind of just see his last journey. Because he's an amazing person and he deserves all the respect we can give him. Stephen Hawking had been an academic here in Cambridge for 52 years. But aged 21, he was given two years to live after being diagnosed with motor neurone disease and soon needed a wheelchair and used a computer to give him a voice. He defied medics, though, to have a family and to live to 76. I have been enormously privileged through my work to be able to contribute to our understanding of the universe. But it would be an empty universe indeed if it were not for the people I love and who love me. And that love went beyond the scientific world with comedians, musicians and actors paying their respects today. Eddie Redmayne played the scientist in a film about his life. One never knows from where the next great leap forward is going to come or from whom. It came from Stephen Hawking. A public service to celebrate his life will be held in June and his ashes will be interred at Westminster Abbey, close to the grave of another great scientist, Sir Isaac Newton. But today, a city he loved and one that loved him said goodbye. David Wood, ITV News.